Right, good morning. Good to see people on time. Appreciate that. As promised, we're going to get started. Doesn't matter who shows up. Uh, it's nine o'clock, so we're going to get started. I would uh, like to invite our next keynote speaker, uh, Dave. Dave is uh, the president of jQuery Foundation, and he's also the lead developer on jQuery Core project. Uh, he's a He's a guy who, who knows his shit, so uh, let's uh, welcome Dave to come and uh, enlighten us on some of the mistakes that we should not be doing with not just jQuery, I think he's going to go a lot broader than just jQuery, so over to you, Dave. Thanks for coming. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I, I tend to wander around when I speak because I get restless up here, so I decided I would get a mic that let me move around and not keep me tethered here. Um, I'm really glad to be here and, uh, and keynoting for the beginning of day two. I hope you all had a great day one. I, I did. I saw some really interesting presentations. So um, some of them actually tied in pretty well to many of the things I'll be talking about today. Um, there's a lot of things, amazing things you can do with jQuery. It's very powerful. But like many powerful things, you have to be careful because sometimes um, you can hurt yourself with power, and that's true of things like chainsaws or, you know, electric drills or, in this case, uh, a gun. And so the analogy that, uh, because, of course, Americans are gun happy, um, the analogy that we often use is to shoot yourself in the foot. So, you know, the, the idea of a gun is supposed to be to defend yourself, but more often you end up hurting yourself than someone else. So. Um, these mistakes are really like shooting yourself in the foot. You want to know enough about how to use jQuery effectively that you don't do that. So you're also going to find out some really interesting weird tricks about how jQuery works and in the process become a much better jQuery developer and in general a better JavaScript developer because many of these things are not problems specifically with jQuery. They're issues with the way JavaScript works inside a browser. So jQuery 1.0 was released almost 10 years ago. In January of next year, it'll be 10 years. Now, when you think back to what web development was like 10 years ago, uh, it's almost impossible to think back how, how crude and primitive things were back then. Um, things have gotten a lot better, and things have changed quite a bit. And the best practices that you use for writing websites have changed. So those little animated GIFs.